Hi, I'm Matt Kuperberg. I am the Prostate Cancer Program Co-Leader at the UCSF Helen Diller Family Comprehensive Cancer Center. In this series of videos, I'll be giving a brief introduction to prostate cancer, how we think about risk stratification at diagnosis, and how we help men make decisions about how to manage the cancer at time of initial diagnosis. This is particularly suited for men who are planning to come here for a consultation at time of diagnosis, but of course, is relevant for anybody out there. If you are coming to see us at UCSF, either virtually or in person, I strongly encourage you to review these before your appointment. Um, it will help you get the most out of your consultation with us here, and we look forward to meeting you. So welcome to Prostate Cancer 101. Uh, we keep much of the information that I'll be reviewing here updated on our website as well at ucsfhealth.org and the QR code in the lower right here will take you straight to that page. So the question, of course, is what now once you've been diagnosed with prostate cancer? Now, this presentation, the series of talks will be targeted for men who have just recently been diagnosed with clinically localized disease, meaning it hasn't spread to other parts of the body, and of course, their friends and family and loved ones as well. Uh, you know, the information is tailored, but only a little bit for those who are actually going to be coming to see us here. Um, it's, of course, relevant for anybody managed anywhere in the country or elsewhere in the world. Um, and again, you're strongly encouraged to review this information before coming to the consultation at UCSF as being forearmed with information will help you get the most out of your visit with your clinical team here. Um, and as I said in the introduction, we keep a lot of this information up to date on our website. This is a short link here at the bottom and the QR code will take you straight to the page. Now it's critical to emphasize at the outset that prostate cancer is a very slow moving disease in the vast majority of cases. Five-year survival is basically 100%, even for men who have high risk disease as long as it's localized at the time of diagnosis. And even men with advanced cancers, cancers which have spread to the bones, uh, typically can live for years given all the major advances that we've had in treatments over the last decade. Treatments continue to improve over time, all the time, and many of the side effects uh, that do still occur can in fact be managed. Um, it is really important that you take your time in coming to a decision about what to do about localized prostate cancer. This should not be thought of as a ticking time bomb. Uh, for the higher risk cancers, you do need to come to a decision, but it is not an emergency. You almost always have time uh, to come to one that makes sense to you and your loved ones and aligns well with your priorities. You should never feel like you're rushing into a decision, and we don't want anyone looking back uh, down the road and saying, I wish I'd had more time to make a better or different decision. So what we're going to be reviewing is what is the prostate? What is prostate cancer? prostate cancer risk, so how we think about what is a high versus a low risk cancer, active surveillance, which is just following low risk prostate cancer, uh, surgery, radical prostatectomy, radiation, including both brachytherapy, that's seed implants and various forms of external beam radiation therapy, focal therapy, that's destroying just the tumor, leaving the rest of the prostate alone, and other options.